Um, I don't know if you guys this week decided to read the fifth vital, but I finished it and you, you finished it too. Yeah. yeah? I listened to it. Yeah. I haven't read yeah, it. Yeah. I listened to it as well. Whenever I say I read something, it doesn't mean I actually read it. It means I listen to it. We're too stupid it. for that. I, well, read, <laughs> here's the thing. Reading for me takes too long. Also, I've got bad retention when it comes to reading. I'm kind of dumb. And, um, whenever you got to read it multiple times yeah, over and whenever, yeah. and if I ever like sit still, I fall asleep. So like I listen to audiobooks the same way I listen to podcasts. Whenever my mind is free, but my hands are busy, um, gym chores, laundry, dishes, whatever, any, anything driving, especially driving. And, uh, so that's, that's the same thing with podcasts. That's how I consume pretty much, um, all my audio stuff. But, you know, in the same context of, um, Joker, when I was saying how it was kind of rough to listen to, I, that was also kind of rough, but also not at the same time because I've, I've gone, I've, I've, I've feel like I've overcome. And you know, Mike does too. Does what? Overcomes it. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, it doesn't end badly. Yeah. But, it, and, but the, it's so funny. So his experience with using is very different than my experience with using very different, but yeah. our experience around addiction is exactly the same like we have a unifying and i think that's why a lot of people like in the rooms of 12-step programs we, we can all bond it doesn't matter if you're like uh you know a granny who slipped and fell and hurt her hip and became an addict it doesn't matter if you're an athlete and you know became an addict it doesn't matter if you're like a businessman and got hooked on something to keep you moving and you it's like it doesn't matter who or what you are where you came from how much or how little you have no one gives a shit what they have is like you got a problem with drugs we're here to help you know so it's like I know for a while when I first went into the rooms, I felt kind of like impostery. Like I was like, oh, I don't belong here because people were talking about like shooting heroin and like being homeless and like stealing and like sleeping in their car and, you know, like all these legal problems. And I'm like, I don't have any of those. Am I really an addict? You know, like I don't, I'm not really like real. <laughs> Am I really an addict? And your family's like, yes. No, but it, <laughs> yeah, it, it, but it like, I knew, I knew I was and I was, but it's like uh, all of the markers, you know what I mean? But it's like, if the issue you got to learn this and people have to teach you this is like, you need to focus on the similarities, not the differences. Cause if you focus mm -hmm. on everyone's differences, no, no, you're not going to relate to anybody, but you have to focus on the similarities. And like, I, I, I feel similarly when it comes to like spinal cord injury, like especially on Facebook and on Instagram and stuff, like a lot of you spinal cord guys, like say and do the dumbest things online. But I'm like, yo, we still got a spinal cord injury and we're, we're brothers. So like, I don't care what you do or what you're up to or, mm. you know, it's like, there's some type of like common bond there, but the the yeah. book the book was inspiring as fuck because it's like it 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 makes me want to do something that it extends my impact in my reach, also, you know, because that's kind of yeah. I mean, you're already doing yeah. it, but yeah. Well, I mean, I'm currently doing that, but I would like to do more, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, did you? Did, what did you think about the the extra audio at the end with Macklin? Did you get a chance to uh, listen to that? I listened to the beginning, and it the questions that he was asking were stupid. So I was just like, nah. Like it was literally like, who are you? I'm like, why are they asking that after we read the whole book? It was like, <laughs> what? Are, where are you right now? And he's like, I'm in Los Angeles, California, in this multi million dollar studio. What do you want to accomplish? I'm like, what the fuck are these questions? They're so dumb. Who wrote these? Twi like, it pissed me off. Twitter, I or turned it off. Twitter like, or Mac, but yeah, but why would it, why would they even include those at the end of a book about his entire life? I don't know. Like that was really dumb to know. me. Like I, I skipped the fuck out of those. I, th I think the the thought behind <laughs> it was like to put some exclusive content that wasn't in the book, that wasn't unimpulsive, that wasn't on a vlog. You know, something that was. Like, I agree. I think the questions just could have been way better. Oh, agreed. And but I still enjoyed it. You know, it was yeah. like, it was a fun little thing, but I, I probably just could have listened a little longer and it would have gotten better, but well, there, you can there, tell Mike was even frustrated. Yeah. When, Mac, was. Mac was like, who are you? And he's like, I might, this goes at the end of my book. <laughs> you, if you're listening to this, you just read my book. <laughs> that's like that. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that's C Kat was telling me one time when she, she used to do a uh, more frequent podcast or so does podcast that like one of the things she really gets annoyed at is an interview podcast. When people will ask you a question, you answer and they don't have a follow up. They just ask the next, the, question. The next question. It's sometimes like, age three is like that. And it, it annoys me, but I mean, whatever. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you'd like to see the full episode, click right here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. If you'd like more clips, we got two more right over here.